What is going on everyone? My name is Sneaky Freak here and today I have a 1 through 10 Nuketown survival strategy and tip guide for you guys. Knowing it's a little bit late, it's been released, I mean, one or two weeks ago, but nonetheless, I still find the need to make a tutorial for you guys. So, the first thing you're going to be looking for is the box, which is usually followed by a nice blue light, which you can see. And the very off the bat, the next thing you want to do is look for that meter right coming down right there. It's coming down. It's going to go over there. And in the first round, it's always going to be Kirk Revive, which is the most important perk except for Juggernaut in solo survival. You just want to get that. And, the, and then... What you also want to do is still do that one, um, one, two, three, four shots straight into them, so you can get as many points as possible in the first round to buy and splendor your points off into more guns and doors, of course, because this is Nuketown, and in Nuketown there are a lot and a lot and a lot of doors which are just begged to be opened. Because I think it's, I think it, yeah, like 2,000 points going through that door, 2,000 points going through that door, whichever way you go, try and get to the backyard, which is back there, of course, but I have to build points. And so in round two, instead of um, hitting them with five shots, uh, four shots, my bad. Instead of hitting with four shots, we want to hit them with five shots. One, two, three, four, five. And then knife. Okay, that was four. There we go. You can see some zombies are already running. Well, doing a quick a quick walk. At least. So now what you want to do once your ammo is out for your pistol is to get that M fourteen. I was getting confused for the M16, but said it right this time. But um, you want to get the M14, which is right on the back of this bus, and you want to actually shoot them a couple times before knifing. You don't want to go for the headshot because that doesn't give you enough points, in my perspective, because. With 100 points versus 130 points, we always want to get the 130 points with knifing because those 30 points could just get you into a door or buy you the box. See, what I'm doing there is hitting them twice and then knifing. Because the M14, it, um, it goes by round of how many b shots it takes to kill a zombie. As you can see, round 3, it takes um, 3, but that, uh, that third, I'm knifing. So we get that 130 instead of the 60 or 50 or 100. So as you can tell already, I'm just going through knifing. Shoot, shoot, knife, 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 and reload. And I'm just going to do the same thing here. And the next thing I'm going to do and is in round four. Oh, whoops. What you want to do in round four is to start making your way towards the box. That's very much appreciated. And um, given that I have 4,000 points, I can start opening. And one pro tip to do is never to open the store right here or the door over there. Because if you're running a train, the Zymus can come through here and block your path, which you never want to do. So I'm just getting up there, opening up that door, and getting rid of this M14 almost immediately. And sure enough, I get a very, very good gun for this map, which is, I don't think this is an, oh yeah, this is in, a, this is in Zombies Now. My bad. Oh. And as you can tell, it's dropping another perk. Which is hopefully Jug, but will probably not be, given that I never get Jug early in the rounds. So let's just see if it's going. Yeah, it's going over there. Of course it is. And so once I get all the zombies in a nice little coiled up train, I 
shoot them all with my pistol because the pistol's a very good point builder still, just this very early round, as you can tell, I'm just rapidly seeing those yellow tens flying left and right. Mining the zombies behind me. Just trying to build as many points as possible for when the good the good perks actually come down. So right now I'm just getting bad 69. <laughs> and so there we go. Knocking down the whole entire train. And save the instant kill for next round. So I think what we'll do next round is actually go and see what that perk was. Because if that is Juggernaut, I have to and want to absolutely go for that. Because Juggernaut is not... It's not the most use. It's not the most useful perk. I think Kirk Revive is, given that it wasn't in any other until um, Black Ops One, and I. It's just the most useful perk, I think, in my mind. I mean, Juggernaut might be the useful, most useful perk in multiplayer, but I think in solo, Juggernaut is not the most useful perk. So, but it is. It is close second. Don't get me wrong in that. It is close second. So here we're just trying to go for headshots, given that knifing isn't really a, the most most effective way of getting these zombies dead now, because it would take five knives, and I don't think with without jug, excuse me, it would be pretty hard to try and go for knife kills. So let's just finish off these zombies, and there's supposed to be two more. Okay. See, here I'm opening up up here, which is a little bit of a hassle, but it'll get you there. And an awesome thing you can do is jump out these windows, which I love. And speaking of it, I will be doing a um, a 30 guide. I've, I think I've already made one, but I think I'm going to be doing like a 30 through 40 Rape train strategy for Nuketown. So let's see what it is. And it's. Is it over here? Did I just buy all this stuff and not find it's probably up? Oh my god. Hello there, my good friend. It's probably up here. Oh, so useful. But as you can tell, the perks come down randomly. I mean, I could have. I could have had. Um. I could have had Juggernaut last, game, last. I could have had Juggernaut first. You never know. But now this is where I camp. Until I can actually get a good perk. Because um, it doesn't have many exits. It doesn't have many entrances. Excuse me. But it has an exit. So if you ever need to use this. You could just go into the backyard. And hopefully not get raped as you go back there. So, this is exactly where I stay. I always go for headshots, and that is very useful. Oh, looks like we can get another perk. It's going in the backyard over there. Okay. We should make our best to try and get over there and see if we cannot get Jug. Oh, it is Jug! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Alright. So now we can come up from camping now. And it is rape train time. Because with Jug, you can lower your guard. I mean, I just got hit there. If I was, if I didn't have Jug, I'd be freaking out. But given that I have Jug now, I can just do these zombies with ease. So let's just get over here and get this one. That one. And if you did not see the teddy bear, where all the teddy bear locations are, this is one in the bunk. Well, there is one in the bunk. Excuse me. But let's get the last ones. Come at me, bro. Okay. Die. Please. Now. Thank you. So, as you can tell, it's round 7 already. I mean, these rounds were so to, sort of slow because of all the debris the zombies have to go through. But it still is the most effective strategy to knife until you feel comfortable not to knife. Or, or, or feel comfortable 
that you have enough points to try and hit the box. And as you can tell, what I'm doing right now is just trying to go for that ray gun because the ray gun and Mustang Sally combo is the best combo for early rounds. But once you're past 30 or 40, you actually want to get something other than those because they just become crawler makers. And so what, my, what I think I like to do, or what my most effective strategy is to do, is um, use an assault rifle. But I'm not going to spell that, because that is going to be a video I'm going to be uploading at a later time. Sometime in the next couple days. But, that's just me. So, as you can see right here, round 7, I'm already rape training, and I'm just going for their heads. Because... As you can tell, takes out a whole entire rape tune in 40 shots, and it gives max max ammo and a lot of other cool stuff. So as you can see here, just back and forth, stabbing these, shanking them. Ugh. See, that round went pretty fast because, well, seeing I got an insta-kill, that went pretty fast, but... What you want to do in this rape train strategy early on is to just coil them up in this one flat area because it's cut off by right here and as you can tell right there. So you just want to rape train in this rectangular pattern, well area, and until you can get that coil, nice and tight coil, you just keep on rape training and rape training and rape training. And I think the most effective strategy for this rectangular pattern is f to do the infinity sign. Uh, it has other names for it, but I just like to say the infinity sign because they're actually making one. That's right. Deal with it. So as you can tell, I'm still using my pistol. Trying to get points. Trying to get as many points as possible until Pack-A-Punch comes down. And so, as you can tell, all the zombies are down, and you go back right here, turn around, and shoot, go for their heads. And as you can tell, that was a very, 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 very nice loot got there. Saving that nuke for later, because I got insta-kill to do. I should get the max ammo, though. Alright, smashing. And bam. And if you guys did not know the Easter egg, the bus honks in rounds 4 through 10-ish, around there. Because, I don't know. It just does. So, as you can say, it's a, as you can say, I'm sorry, as you can see, it's already round 9. And the thing you want to do is just follow this rape train strategy because it's the easiest rape train in the map unless you like the yellow house rape train strategy but it's just a point boulder if you get a if you just keep your pistol because i think keeping your pistol in the early rounds is one of the most effective point building things you can be doing unless you get like a lmg like what i have because that has a lot of bullets but it is very, very high powered. So it kills them pretty quick. Anyway. So I just keep on rape training around here, trying to get the pistol shots. Get them all nice and tight and coiled, and go back here and mow them down. And you just always want to go for the headshots. Did I not get a. Oh, I did get a max ammo. I've been getting max ammo by the dozen. But as you can see here, it's round 10. And I will be seeing you guys later, probably the next couple days, and have a nice day. Bye.